Hey, if I were to ask you what was the first recorded death in history, what would you say? Well, most people who at least believe in the Bible would say that it was Abel. Cain slew Abel. That's the first death, right? Well, it's the first human death, but it's not the first recorded death. In order for us to find out what that first recorded death is, we need to go back and tell the story of Genesis chapter 2. This is where Adam is created. He's put in the garden and he's told by God that you can have anything here, but you just can't eat of the tree of good and evil because if you do, you're going to die. He then puts Adam to sleep, takes a rib out and creates Eve. Yay, God. And after he does that, we see Genesis chapter 3 open up with the entrance of Satan. And now Satan is baiting Eve and, and trying her to take a bite of the fruit. And she says, well, the Lord said that we can't have of that tree and we're going to die. And, and, and then Satan says, you won't surely die. And they bit the apple and we know what happened. All of a sudden they realized they were naked and they start running from God. And as God's walking through the cool of the day, he's asking, where are you? And he said, we're hiding. Why are you hiding? God says, because we're naked. Who told you you're naked? God says, did you eat of the tree of good and evil? And he said, the woman that you gave me. Guys, always pointing at somebody else, right? The woman you gave me made me eat it. And then the Bible goes into a little bit of a descriptor where it says, God then covered their nakedness with animal skins. Well, in order for him to cover their nakedness with animal skins, Blood had to be shed, an animal's blood. Now, we don't know what kind of an animal it was, but blood was shed. And those skins covered them up. They covered the sin of man up. And have you ever thought that today, after that first death, that first recorded death, we are experiencing the incredible blessing of that death? Because you see, through the line of the Old Testament, a blood sacrifice was demanded and that was never going to take away our sin, but it was still demanded. And it started right there with the first death when that blood was shed. And it didn't end until the blood of Christ. You see, a lamb had to be slain. And that was Jesus Christ. But God, even though he created us perfect, he knew with free will that we were going to go another way. And he created another solution for that problem. A solution in the name of Jesus. Jesus was going to cover up your sin, my sin, everybody's sin, past, present, and future. The blood of Christ was the redemption for all. That is the good news. And it's rooted in Genesis chapter 3 with that first death, a death that occurred because Adam took a step back, allowed his wife to, to take hold, and he did not stop her, even though he knew he should. And because of that, his nakedness was seen. It needed to be covered up. The only way that it could be covered up was through the blood. It's Jesus' blood that covers us. Make no mistake. That's the good news. That is the gospel. Do you know him today? Do you know him today? My name is Joe Pellegrino, and this has been a Legacy Minute. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you were blessed by the material. We also want to remind you that there are several great ways to make sure you're staying up to date on our content as part of our 360 Legacy Plan. First, subscribe to this channel by clicking subscribe below. You can also download our incredible new app in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Just search Legacy Minded Men. And finally, visit our website at LegacyMindedMen.org for more information on what we believe, upcoming events, and how to join a group. Thanks again for watching.